Welcome back to another Learning Layer segment. Today, we are continuing our conversation with Joe Kerrigan as he gets ready for his CISSP. Joe. Yes. I, uh, I heard you weren't feeling well. I was not. Okay, so <laughs> did, you, did you get some studying in? I did. I got okay. uh, most of the way through, uh, through Domain 7. Ah. Do you think it was the content in Domain 7 that made you sick? Uh, no, it was uh, some virus that some kid brought into my house. <laughs> I see. Was, it, was the virus a cybersecurity joke? Or are we talking about like no, no, a real it, it virus? Been a, I think it was a real virus. It may, okay. may have been a bacteria, but probably a virus <laughs> because of the way it contagied. <laughs> All right. Well, we're really going to put your the studying that you did do to the test because right. we're going to do a question together to retain your information of the themes of Domain 7. So why don't you uh, do the usual thing, read the question for us, and tell me what you're, what you're thinking as you read it. All right, so I'm going to read the, the, just the body of the question, not even looking at the answers. So which of the following is the most important goal of a disaster, of disaster recovery planning? Okay. I was going to read it as a disaster recovery plan, pretty much the same thing. Um, so immediately, the strategy is try to guess at an answer. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you have a disaster uh, the, the most important thing I'm going to think is probably something along the lines of business continuity, being yeah. able to continue because uh, the business continuity plan is what you put in place before disaster recovery. So it's a step right before that. But now we're in a, in a, in a more severe state uh, than we are with the business continuity plan. We're now actually tr going to try to recover from the, uh, from the event and, uh, try to keep the business up and running. To summarize or say this back to you, I like to think of like a business continuity as a concept, as like the umbrella term. Right. And you disaster recovery is part of that overall strategy. And like you said, again, as ISC squared CSSPs, we have to think like managers. We got to think like our boss's boss and senior executives we want to make sure that the business survives. Security is there to enable the business. So that's why we're even like talking about these plans. Right. So it sounds like then, with all that in mind, what would you sort of predict or look for in an answer choice? I would look for something along the lines of keeping the business up and running or something that maybe contains the word business continuity. Awesome. All right. What do we got for answer choices? Uh, answer number A, business continuity. Oh, nice. So I'm like, ooh, I was on the right track. Well done. Right away. Okay. Uh, answer number two, critical infrastructure restoration. Uh, right away, I'm going to dismiss that, uh, or maybe I won't dismiss it, but it's not the most important thing. Yeah. In a disaster recovery, you're going to do that, but you may not do that right away. Mm -hmm. It's uh, kind of narrow. Yeah. It the serves end, other purposes. Right. It, the end goal is to be able to continue to operate, um, but then C comes up. Okay. And Let's... C, it's always C, right? C says human safety. Oh. Uh oh. Right. And I have taken enough of the practice test to know. That whenever you see uh, human safety, that is always going to be the most important thing. Yep. Uh, yep. So go back. Go back to the go back to the question. What is the, which of the following is the most important? Most all caps. I'm I'm immediately. I, I don't even know that I need to read D, but D says regulatory compliance. So I I don't need to read D. It's yeah. human safety. It's about making sure that nobody dies during the process or gets harmed. So it, I'm going to go with C. And drum roll. C is the right answer. Right. Well yeah. done. It's you know, not a, that's not a hard question. <laughs> and I, I, I like that. But, you know, for somebody who maybe is looking at the content for the first time or isn't familiar with, like, I'll call it themes of IC squared, that actually mm -hmm. might be a hard question. But because it's so obvious, it's almost like a little trivial or silly or it seems like detached from reality, like humans say, like, where'd that come from? But as you said, the whole point of like the CSSP and IAC squared, what they're trying to do is get you to think in a certain way. Right. That's what their end goal is, right? For people who are going through this exam and business, you know, issues and human safety is literally one of the most important things, right. like the, the most important thing. That's why in domain seven too, you'll get to content about like, 
fail safe versus, you know, fail secure. Right. Those are concepts that we talk about because it has to do with human safety. Yeah. If you fail secure and you lock people inside a burning building, yeah. that's right. bad. <laughs> that is bad. Right. Violate C. So, so I like to say, as, as you did in real time, if you see human safety as an answer choice, it's probably right. Right. Yep. So this reminds me of, if I can digress a little bit. Mm -hmm. Please. I, the last certification, actually license that I got was a, a, a part, FAA Part 107 license, which is the remote pilot in command for un unmanned aircraft, mm -hmm. uh, UAVs. And in there, one of the questions they keep asking over and over again is, uh, who is responsible for filing the flight plan? It's the remote pilot in command. Who is responsible for notifying, for filing a NOTAM, remote pilot in command? Mm -hmm. This is the kind of same thing. And there are other safety questions in there. Yeah. But the big point that they want to drive home in those tests is, you're the, who's the responsible person? And the answer always has to be, oh, the guy taking the test. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. This, is, like this that. is kind of a similar application there. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. So, Joe, we are in the home stretch. Next time we'll talk about Domain 8, which I know you have experience in, yet also that was one of the weaker ones in your diagnostic. It was. and I, Somehow. There weren't a lot of questions on it. <laughs> Well, we're going to go find out why that's the case. <laughs> right. We'll talk to you next week, and we are getting closer to exam day. I'm excited. Absolutely. Me too. Me too.